Hey, uh, I know uh, some of you were uh, asking for a demo of the Mills Custom Hatchet 50 when I got it in. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, never done this before. Uh, I don't typically make videos to um, review or test gear or anything like that, so I apologize in advance for uh, the amateur hour you're about to witness. Um, but uh, I've got the amp. Right here, Mills Custom Hatchet 50, no reverb, um, just the bare bones um, option available. Um, I also probably need to apologize in advance for the audio quality. Um, I don't have a uh, mic for recording this kind of thing. Um, I'm actually using uh, one of my vocal mics. Um, on my Emperor cab that you can't see behind me at the moment. You just see kind of the top of it. Um, hopefully that'll be sufficient. Um, it'll at least get the point across, uh, I imagine. Um, maybe I'll do another one of these when I get a better recording setup. Um, I live in a condo, so I'm kind of used to um, uh, recording with uh, amp sims and stuff like that. Um, tried quite a few, but, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start, um, playing around with this. Uh, I'm starting on the, on the clean channel. Um, right now I've got, uh, everything set to noon, uh, with the EQ. There's a treble mid and bass. Um, right now I've got the volume set at, yeah, about seven or eight o'clock, uh, see comment, uh, before about being in a condo building. Um, I like it here. I don't want to leave. Um, I don't want to get kicked out. So, um, we'll start with that and see what tones we can get. Um, just with, uh, you know, plug direct in, no pedals, nothing. Oh, should mention too, I'm, I'm playing my, my, uh, MIJ. Epiphone. I see people do that a lot in videos. Um, Les Paul Custom, um, 2005. So yeah, uh, starting on the bridge pickup. Middle position. I like how full that sounds. It's really bassy and girthy. Excuse my use of the word girth. Cool. Um, I'm going to mess around with the uh, EQ a little bit. Um, let's see. So I'm going to kind of do my usual thing here. See what happens. with the uh, 
triple and bass right about three o'clock. Uh, middle still uh, at noon. I don't like too many mids. Yeah, and I just noticed uh, <laughs> getting a little slap back delay because I didn't turn the volume off on the speakers on the uh, computer I'm recording on. So it's just uh, better. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but. feel it on the floor a little bit. Um, I mean, that's partially the Emperor cab I have is, is um, it's actually, I should probably go over that. It's a 212. Um, it's got a Ted Weber uh, Blue Dog and a Ted Weber um, Silver Bell uh, in it. Um, quite possibly uh, favorite cab I've ever owned. Um, I think it's well suited for the Sam. All right. Um, let's head on over to the dirty side of things. Uh, again, um, with the exception of the master volume, because uh, we've got a gain, treble, mid, bass, master. Um, with the exception of the master volume, everything is set at uh, at noon, uh, including the gain. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> settings. See how that goes. Uh, basically, like before, uh, I've got everything leveled out um, with the bass and the treble at about three o'clock and the mid still at noon. Um, and the gain is also at about three o'clock. Not quite full push, uh, just in case I want to add a little like fuzz or something to it um, when I'm playing. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Yeah, I never know what to play uh, when I'm demoing things. I go into uh, my local music shop all the time, and even though I know everybody there, I've known them for years, I, I freeze up when they hand me a guitar or plug me into an amp, no idea what to play. And I suddenly forget everything I've ever learned. Uh, yeah, anxiety, whatever, it happens. <laughs> What's 
play next. I have a check I like the check in. Pretty good. hear and see uh, all the pictures on the wall vibrating, which I'm a fan of. Neighbors aren't. Right. Not sure what else to do with it. It sounds pretty dope to me. Um, it's probably one of the better purchases I've made, um, especially because it was kind of impulsive. Um, I mean, I, I've known about Mills since about the time they started. Um, well, he started. Um, always been interested in them. Um, kind of forgot about them for a little while until this one popped up on my reverb feed and. Um, yeah, price is right, just had to snag it, and I don't regret it. It's like an overused term, but it is, it's sizzling. Eventually, I'll make another video and throw some pedals at it, see what it does. Um, some reverb and delay and some other fun shit, maybe. I don't, know, I, I don't have a lot of fun shit anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to my rambling and checking this out. Um, I welcome any feedback on what you want to hear from this amp. Um, I know a lot of you heard me or saw me complaining uh, when I was thinking about getting this that there weren't really any decent videos of